So, let us try to solve this problem. Uh, a compass needle free to turn in horizontal plane is placed at the center of a circular coil 30 turns radius 12 centimeter. Coil is in vertical plane making an angle of 45 degree with the magnetic meridian. When the current in the coil is 0.35 amperes, the needle points west to east. Find horizontal component of both magnetic field at the location. I again re-emphasize the point that you should be that you should be taking the taking this this may be uh, the you, you should be calculating the whole thing in the horizontal with respect to the earth and then the figure that is drawn here is vertical somehow. So always keep that in mind. So so how do I do this? So it says uh, this is the this is the this is the coil and this is and and maybe what I do this is not the geographic north I say this is the direction of the magnetic meridian. So though if it was geographic north my magnetic meridian was somewhere here I have shifted it turned it so that I am in line with the magnetic meridian and not in line with the axis of rotation of the earth right. So, <clears throat> so uh, when now I am talking this is my NM and that is my SM that wall ok. So, so what happens? So what happens is, is this this is at an angle of 45 degree. So say like that, okay. This is making an angle of 45 degree with the magnetic meridian. Fine. The obviously the the perpendicular to the plane is making that angle, right? Now what happens? If if the current is like this, that means the field is in the direction of this pen. Then what happens? And and how does my since uh, this is my in M, my earth's magnetic field lines, they start from there come towards me. So if I take it like this, then this component actually adds with the horizontal component of the magnetic field and I will never be able to cancel it. Okay. Now the very fact that the magnetic needle points in, in east to west direction or west to east, west to east direction means the resultant magnetic field is like that. Resultant of the field due to this and the earth's magnetic field. Now since this component adds with the earth's magnetic field it will never be able to cancel the earth's magnetic field fine. So, so maybe if, if, if the direction is like that in the opposite direction then the field is like that. So field this component will be able to cancel it but then there is a trouble. This component of the magnetic field will force the needle to point from east to the west direction and I do not want that. So what to do? Maybe this is making an angle of 45 degree like that so that this component cancels the field and this component becomes the resultant so that my needle points from west to east. So it is perhaps like this and direction of current is, is like this that is seeing from my side it is clockwise seeing from your side it is anti-clockwise correct. So this suits me. Now it means that this if this is the field due to the coil then this and, and what is this angle this angle this angle is 45 degree ok. So this cos 45 is equal to the earth's magnetic field out here is it not? This cos 45 is the earth's magnetic field. So, so what is this? What is the field first of all? So B is equal to mu naught in I upon <coughs> 2R. So that is equal to 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into 30 into 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 how much into 30 into what is the current 0 0.35 upon 2 into 12 into 10 to the power minus 2 because it is 12 centimeter right. So B is that much so So, so that is equal to that 
that is equal to 5.49 into 10 to the power minus 5. So that gives me 0 0.549 into 10 to the power minus 4. So this is equal to 5.49 into 10 to the power minus 5 Tesla. That becomes 0 0.549 into 10 to the power minus 4 Tesla. That is equal to 0 0.55 Gauss. Now, 0.55, what is my Earth's horizontal magnetic field? As we just saw is B into cos 45 degrees, right? So, that is 0 0.55 into 1 upon root 2. So, that gives me, that gives me 0 0.55 into, into cos 45. So, that gives me 0 0.388, 0 0.388. 3,9 Gauss. That's all. Fine. Now I come, so th this was my first part. What is my second part? My second part is this. The current in the coil is reversed. Now start tracking what they say. They say that the current in the coil is reversed. Earlier it was clockwise seeing from my direction and anticlockwise from yours. So, the direction of the field was as shown. Now, the moment you flip it, immediately it becomes like that. Then what do they say? They say that this is shifted by 90 degrees, looking from above in, in anti-clockwise, right? Anti-clockwise. So, looking from here, anti-clockwise will be, see, this is making an angle of 45 degree here. So, I move 45 degree, it becomes horizontal. I move another 45 degree, it becomes like that. You understand? So, now it is making an angle of 45 degree like this and the field is like this. Now, the, the, the horizontal component again gets cancelled because it is B cos 45. So, it again gets cancelled, right? While the, while the other component, the other component of the field is, is like that and that is equal. Why? Because it is making an angle of 45. So, B cos 45, B sin 45. So, there is another 0.39 Gauss of field that is now acting from east to west. So, my needle starts pointing east to west. Needle points east to west. See, you will have to show these things here, right? I have not done that because I was I was able to show it on, on this video. Obviously, you, you cannot show it to your examiner on the video. So, you will have to write this in words, okay. Maybe saying that we are giving you a top view and then this will happen and that will happen. But for understanding sake, this is what you should be looking at, okay. We understand. Okay. 